So in JavaScript and in every single programming language that you ever encounter, you're going to see these two funny looking symbols right here. You're going to see a double ampersand. And if you don't know what an ampersand is, this symbol is what an ampersand is. And you will also see double vertical lines, sometimes referred to as double pipes. And both of these are used in conjunction as you would use them in the English language. The double ampersand is indicative of an and, just like you, just like you see in the English language. The double pipe is indicative of or, once again, just as you would see in the English language itself. And they are used in programming exactly as you would use them in real life. And let me illustrate it with an example. So we all have varying levels of fitness goals. And some days I wake up and I am super energized and I know that I am going to lift weights and I am going to run. So if I know that I'm going to lift weights and I am going to run, I would illustrate this with an ampersand because I know that I am going to do both of them. And if I say that I'm going to do both of them, I use the and. I am going to run and I am going to lift weights. And if I complete both of them, this is logically valid. I have completed the actual thing that I set out. And because I did both of them, like I said, it is true. It is logically valid. But if I wimp out and I don't actually lift weights because I don't really like lifting weights that much. I like running, but I don't like lifting weights. Then this is actually not going to be valid because I did not complete what I said I was going to do. I said that I was going to run and I was going to lift weights and I didn't lift weights. So therefore it is false. It is not logically valid. But let's just say that I wake up one day and I'm honest with myself. I just say, I'm not going to lift weights today. I might, li I might lift weights, but I might run or I might lift weights. So if I had that relationship, if I had an or relationship, and I only completed a run, then that would be syntactically valid. If I said I was going to run or I was going to lift weights and I did not lift weights, it would still be valid. But if I didn't do either and I completely wimped out and I didn't run and I did not lift weights, then that would still not be valid. I would have to do at least one of them in order to complete the or. So if you ever get confused, just realize that the and and the or are very similar to how we would talk in real life. And if you ever get confused, just say, you know, I am going, is this and or is this or, and try to form the connection as you would do something in your day-to-day -day life. And that will make and or or very simple for you. But it's not enough to just have examples like this. Let's actually dive into some code and let's see how this actually works inside of VS Code. Okay, so I've went ahead, fired up VS Code, go into here, make sure that your console log is working. So I'm just gonna go in here, I'm gonna say works, and our works is indeed working. Also, if you don't know how to fire up live server, I've also got live server fired up. Go down into your GUI and just click that to open it. I've already got mine open, so everything's good to go. Okay, so, the easiest way to model this is to just go up in here and create the workouts that we plan on doing. And yours could be different. You don't; these don't even have to be workouts if you don't want to. They could they could model other things. They could model other day to day activities. But workouts are pretty universal, and most people understand kind of like the concept of what I'm talking about. So let's model in the or relationship. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an if. And we're going to check if these variables are true. So if the lift weights is true or the run is true, remember, or we are working out, this isn't the and, this is actually the or, double pipes is an or, what we're going to do is we're going to console log, because we did at least one workout, we can be sure we did at least one workout, you did at least one workout, Son, <laughs> I am proud. And that is just a throwback, kind of an old meme, but a funny workout meme. 
Uh, Sun I Am Proud is a, is a funny meme. If you want to Google it, you can check out Sun I Am Proud. And if we didn't, that means we didn't do any workout at all. So we're going to say, did not work out at all. Failure. And if you didn't work out, you're not a failure, but it's just funny joke. Okay, so you did at least one workout, son, I am proud. So both of these are true. Recognize that in, in an or, only one can be true, both can be true as well too. So if I go into here and I say lift weights, and remember, I don't like lifting weights, so a lot of times I don't lift weights even though when I think I'm going to. It's still true because it is an or. I decided that I am going to lift weights or I am going to run. And that is the whole entire concept behind the double pipes or the or operator. Let's go into here and let's model the and. So let's go in here and first I'm gonna say lift weights. So I'm gonna say lift weights and we're going to check if this is true. So if this is true, and run is equal to true. So and run is equal to true. Let's go into here, console log. So if both of those are true and I ran and I lifted weights, I am pretty much a fit master. We're gonna throw back to Ronnie Coleman. We're gonna say lightweight baby. And we are going to console log that because we are Ronnie Coleman. If you don't know who Ronnie Coleman is, give that a Google and that will, <laughs> you will definitely laugh if you don't know who Ronnie Coleman is and you Google Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is a beast. So if we did not do both of them, let's just say I only did uh, one or I didn't do either one at all. We're going to say did not do both. You are a failure. <laughs> you are a failure. So if I only did one, or if I didn't do either of them, it it violates the AND principle and it is not going to execute this line of code right here. Just think of it as the whole entire reason that we have this AND is so that we can not have it so we don't have a bunch of if else's chained together. Because if we didn't have these AND or these OR operators, all of these, we would have to chain a bunch of if else's and this allows us to execute this code block right here not have a bunch of if else's and also at the same time help us satisfy the else condition. So if we don't satisfy both of the conditions, it does not, it does not work. And we have this else statement to actually execute. That is pretty much the whole entire idea behind and in or not complicated at all and very powerful. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did make sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.